Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode four of Let's Play Titan Outpost Blind. Let's take a look at the achievements we've unlocked already. Seven out of uh, seven out of forty-three. We've got Titanfall. Safely land on Titan. Level up. Successfully level up. Reconnect. Complete your first task. By restoring the connection to mission control. First construction, finish your first construction, finish your first resource, get a methane methane pumping station operational, and die by freezing. Ice sculpture. So let's go ahead and play. Hope you guys are ready for some Titan Outpost. And excited. I'm definitely ready to play more. I'm pretty immersed in this throughout the first three episodes. I feel it's a good RPG thus far with some varied gameplay and such. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. Uh, mission log. We've got to try to get the Hall of the Lander open. Um, got to hit the cryo volcano. Uh, got a lot to do, but I guess our next step is oh, suit charges offline. Let's go ahead and turn that back on. Suit charger. Okay. We could go back out once 46 minutes is up. Okay, suit is charged. Uh, let's at least head out and explore towards the cryo volcano south of the... Uh, outpost. Well, let's go try to... I guess we can't get the... The lander open. I don't have the physicality to open it. Try some sort of science technique. We'll try. Let's get over here. Where's the lander? Um, open the hatch. The hatch is already ajar from your rescue, but a sheet of ice covers the opening. The hinges are frozen solid. Try to force it open. It won't budge. Getting this hatch open without tools is almost impossible. Oh. These rocks do not appear to be water ice. We've already established that. Let's go further south. Conductance five. Beyond the elevator bay or whatever. There's nothing over here. We're at 50 suit. Uh, let's go ahead and head back. Um, how do we get back? Whoops. I think up this way. Something about going south, though. We're going to have to go south again once our suit's recharged. A 
do this all day. Or for a while, anyway. Got some Gatorade today. Hold on a second, guys. Mmm, delicious. Blue flavor. Okay, beyond this bay... Should be a cryo volcano. Maybe I have to reach it with the rover. I'm not sure. What is that? I guess going further this way. Time to the cryo volcano. 22 minutes. Might not have enough charge for the return trip. Are you sure? No. Okay, we can't go there yet. Even though our suit charge does go down a little slower thanks to the... Item we have. The girdle. We'll have to wait until we can print more gear. Oh no. out here. Okay. Now. Hydroponics are online and good. Um, a crate. Our first shipment is due at 5 p.m. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and talk to Carl. Commander. Can you tell me the reason of the Hesiod's early return to Titan, if it's refueling? All I know is they're coming back after visiting the inner Saturnian system. Okay, something Come else. On. Do you have any assignments for me? The outpost only meets the bare minimum criteria for habitability. We need to work on that. Yes, it's worse than we thought. We can't even power all the systems simultaneously with, simultaneously with life support enabled. It was not unexpected. We knew <laughs> the outpost was behind schedule. The life support test returned positive, so the scent was greenlit anyway. It's not that unexpected we knew that. I'm alright, it's fine. I'm here, let's work I'm on it. I'm impressed with your attitude, Commander. Let's get to work. What did you have in mind? Self-sustainability, improved living conditions, more tanks and drones. IPMS should have a list of things you can do. Coordinate improvements with your base computer if you're not already doing that. Okay. The first thing you need, though, is more power. I happen to know where you can get some more plutonium for the RTG. A few months before launch, a shipment went off course due to unexpected wind gusts. Okay, I'll take the rover and find it. It landed in direct vicinity of the outpost, in a series of dry methane riverbeds to the west. The rover won't be able to navigate their terrain. So you want me to hoof it? Ah. I am double clicking. That is a mistake. Let's go ahead and try this again. Um... Commander. All I know is they're coming back. Commander. The outpost only means it was not unexpected. I'm impressed. Self-sustainability. The first thing you need, though, it landed in direct vicinity. You probably won't make it on foot. No, I've come up with a better plan. The construction bot is small and nimble enough to navigate there. You can control it manually through the construction station. But you have to override its perimeter limit somehow. Wait a minute, how do you know I won't make it on foot if you don't know the exact location? Because someone already tried. William. Good. You know about that. Yes. 
William went looking for it twice and had to return before he found anything. Let's hope you fare better. I'll try Saturn 6 out. Commander. Can I ask you a question? Yes, make it quick. Tell me about yourself. I'm Karen Owens. I'm in charge of Cronus Station. What's your background? OCS in Pretoria, with flying colors. If you want personal information, forget it. I understand. Can I ask something else? Yes, make it quick. Never mind. Okay. So we have to send the construction robot. Hmm. Manual control. Oh, we can make a scudderudite thermocouple. Oh, but well, we need cobalt arsenide. Okay. Rover self charge. Hmm. All right, so let's probably, there's nothing really to work on. Um, well, I guess we can work on, uh, construction maybe. What's a hydroponics bay? Two difficulty. Two minerals, 10 polymers, 200 watts, 20 days. The hydroponics crafting bay in the command hub wasn't designed to feed people long term. Add a hydroponics bay to increase food production by one nominal food ration. Why can't we begin construction? Oh, there's no free rooms. Is that what it is? Let's go try going down there. Isn't this it here? We have to excavate the rooms. Maybe that's it. Um, how do we excavate the rooms again? Dormitory. Well, we might as well. Start building. Um, I don't know anything we should start building. Herschel spectral scanner changed the way spectral analysis was done, capable of detecting almost any substance through any other substance. All it was needed was further miniaturization to become the ultimate material detector. The handheld version is limited in range and penetration power, but still a formidable tool for any would-be prospector. That's pretty tempting, but let's actually, after all, turn hydroponics back on, grow the food, and um, go ahead and uh, wait for the shipment to get here. Let's go ahead and 
do it. A special event has occurred. Time lapse halted. Hesiod requires a hundred. We have a hundred. No leakage. No contractor. Methane and storage 190. Allocation is a hundred. I don't know if that's if it was 290 and now it's 190. Um, click OK. They didn't bring us stuff. Really? They did not bring us stuff. Hmm. I thought for sure they they were going to. We made the first delivery. IASA Chrono Station Hesiod. If it isn't my old mate, safe and sound on Titan. Didn't think we'd see each other again so soon, yeah? Heard about the crash. Come a gutsa. Good to see you're okay. Did you, uh, good to see you too, Phil. Please tell me you're sending down my new partner. Nah, it must stink being down there drinking with the flies. Hell, not even flies, I reckon. Sorry about that, mate. We're trying to come up with something, but we don't have any more crew-capable landers on board. What are you here for, then? Yeah, nah. That's classified. Can't say. Come on, you can tell me. <sighs> All right. We're here as a contingency plan. Help you out if you're in trouble. Awareness, you're lying. All right. I didn't want to tell you but we're consolidating the operation. They were this close to pulling the plug after the crash. The iffy part, I have no orders to pull you out in case we bail. Pulling the plug, we just got started. Oh, I'm not making this up. I don't know the details, I've already said too much. But no worries, mate. I got your back no matter what orders they give me. Let's drop it. What do you need? Did you bring anything I can use? Sure did. I've got a budget for consignment and exactly one drop pod limited by weight. But half a loaf is better than none, yeah? Let's see it. Take your pick. IASA is footing the bill for this one. 100 kilograms. Total ca cost on a consignment, 1,000. Oh. Wait. No supply of plutonium. Spare parts, polymers, minerals, and food rations. Minerals. We have six, eighteen polymers. You really want me to send down polymers? You do realize that ice block you're sitting on is the hydrocarbon mother load, right? You fruit loop. Well, that's all you've got. Um, supply 1000. Outpost stock 218. I don't understand that. It says 2.5 days. 218 equals 2.5 days. Um, just maximum. Fifty pounds of food, five hundred. Minerals. Um Spare parts. We have five. Another ten would take it to seven fifty. Um, I guess basically just food.
Hmm, we can print these. Let's go ahead and grab some polymers anyway. And some minerals. And some more food. <coughs> How's that? Spare parts are more costly than minerals and polymers. So let's go with five minerals, twelve polymers. Oh, ah, the minerals are not very heavy. I take it the polymers aren't either. Oh, they're eight pounds a piece. The minerals are six. Oh, I guess it says right there. Spare parts are 25. Now post stock has eight. So let's get three. 12 minerals, 12 polymers. And 669 food rations. Sure. Yeah, all right. I'll get it sent down immediately. The landing has been tagged on the west side of the space elevator platform. Go check it out when you're ready. Let's hope we hit the mark. Thanks, Phil. Saturn 6 out. You can pick up your orbital shipment at the landing spot near the space elevator. G'day, mate. Sing it. Oh, it's nothing. Commander. Can I talk to Carl for a second? Carl's shift starts in three hours. He's probably asleep. Do you want me to wake him up? He's not going to like it. Never mind then, it can wait. Anything else? Um... No. Yes, make it... Okay, so... Let's go get our food and supplies. 50 pounds of food, I would think, is more than two point days or something, or 218 is more than two point something days. Oh, can I talk any more to you? Bring to base. Suit chips, suit charge, and return trips are automatic, no risk of death. Time to offload 24 hours. Um, sure. Hesiod whiskey. You've got mail. Delivery added to outpost stock. Hesiod whiskey added to outpost inventory. Um, contents already brought to outpost. It's 916. 2027. Hmm. Let's check the inventory. It's got three more minerals. It's 13 spare parts. Has the odd whiskey. Doesn't say what it is. Food, 10.27 rations, last 10 days. Hmm. Rover's charged. Okay, so... Now, let's pick up a new research. Or can we actually build... Is it going to let us build now? It 
the scanner would be nifty. Um, looks up hydrokinetic pumps twenty five percent faster. Inside, outside, hand drone. Wow, we could build another drone. Rover motors, can't, shipment collector. Methane tank. Another hydrokinetic pump. All right, so uh, inside Altam, let's go ahead and make the polymer cracker. In construction. I don't know why it's not beginning construction. Let's go ahead and power down hydroponics. Power down communications. Power up. Construction bot. For some reason, it's not letting me. Oh, we have to. Oh, wait, let's check our mail. Check the comms panel. I know we have to excavate down there, but I don't remember how to excavate. Anonymous, a partnership. Dear Anderson, important, a private node key is attached to this message. Contact me on the Van Horn Logistics channel, a friend. Okay, Van Horn Logistics. Ah, we have a connection. Pleased to meet you, Commander. Allow me to introduce myself. Rutger Van Horn, your new best friend and junior vice president of Van Horn Logistics. Van Horn Logistics? We provide the best supply chain solutions in the solar system, but at heart, we're still a family company. Our unique concept is based on what our customers want. The best quality, proven designs, short delivery times, low maintenance, and excellent value. Mm. Uh, go on. We operate in every market where we see an opportunity to improve, innovate, or invest. How do you improve service? <laughs> we listen carefully to our customers and we invest a great deal in innovation, research and development. Tell me more. At Van Horn, it's all about logistics. It's what we do, it's who we are. We plot a course, we follow through, we deliver. We live logistics. We have a vision and we are on a mission. We load and unload vessels either at our own yards or at numerous partner yards around the solar system. This presence means that we can get your vessel close to the delivery destinations, considerably reducing the cost and guarantee a rapid response. Which leads me to my proposal. Which is? You government types wouldn't know, but there's a whole world outside the scope of your utilitarian missions and Spartan spacecraft. You don't need to be crammed up inside some tin can like you were. No, you can live in relative comfort even in space, if you got the cash. Where are you going with this? Look, you may not be comfortable now. You may have taken this job out of desperation, idealism, or even greed. Nah, they don't pay you enough for that. But I digress. What I mean is, there's no reason you shouldn't be comfortable in the future. Um, I don't like where this is heading. Here's the deal. During the next shipment, you siphon away some of your methane for us, and we pay you a king's ransom in Wuchu. How does that sound? Uh, that sounds like the end of my career. It even sounds a little like treason. I'll pass. Don't worry. This is a secure channel. While it lasts. Still not interested. Goodbye. Yeah, not going to uh, 
risk trees into the earth, pretty much. Well, we are gonna with Val, but I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Um, let's, let's go with the construction bot. Elevated to the basement. Um, do I need to excavate with the outside one? Oh, I can do manual control to, um, wait, where would it go? I don't remember where this has to go. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, melt excavate. There it is. This is what we have to do first. LTEM 2 can melt and excavate about 2 cubic meters of rock per ice day. Of, of rock ice per day in its default configuration. Any minerals encountered during the excavation will be added to the outpost stock. Good explorers will give LTAM 2 a better chance of finding useful minerals when excavating. Cool. So begin construction. Um, I guess we'll go here. It's going to take 10 days remaining outside LTAM. Uh... I guess another hadron would be good, but not yet. Let's see where that... Uh, was it plutonium? The rover can't traverse that, so you need to explore some other way. Was that the way... Seven hundred fifty tons of methane before nine thirty. West, so we have to use this to go west. <clears throat> so let's try it. Hmm. Actually, let's F5 first.
yeah, I'm definitely stuck. Let's go ahead and load. Oh, if I go back in it, will it be right back there? No, okay. we know where William is, we can go find him at a later date. This way. something there go up this way I guess Is that the way we just came No, it's not. There's varied gameplay. What is that? That is something. Okay, we picked it up. Now we have to return it. And it's plutonium, I think. the ice. Whoa. This thing is pretty rugged. But it's like handling. It's weird handling. We can send this thing all over. Let's go 
to find William. Whoa. Dang, I think I got stuck again. No? Yep, that's plutonium. PU. Is the way out of here? Just, yeah. Nifty. I don't know what this will actually do or accomplish. Uh, do we come this way? Yep, there goes William. Oh. We went the wrong way. Let's not run over William. Got to make a left up here. Whoa. Come up this way. And where do we put it? Dropped it. Let's go out and pick it up. <laughs> Very cool. Exciting. Before you leave, you might want to turn the hydroponics power back on. If you leave it off for too long, the crops will wither and eventually die. We don't have any seeds in naturally. It's your decision to make. Okay. Transfer. Nuclear arsenals were dismantled as the last reserves of plutonium and enriched uranium were hoarded. Even Chernobyl's Unit 4 reactor was stripped for its remaining 200 tons of fuel. The plutonium used for the Titan outpost was the combined stockpile of all nations endorsing IASA. Plutonium-238 emits alpha particles, processed it to increase the output's, outpost's radiosotope thermoelectric generator output. All right, then we'll go find William, not on this run. Uh, transfer. I guess we process it. What if we process one? One gram of plutonium added to generator. Let's go ahead and process all of it. see what that actually did. Nine percent efficiency. Oh, gave us four hundred more to play with. Not bad. Almost enough to run hydroponics and construction bot at the same time. Ooh, if we power down elevator, we actually can. That is beautiful. By powering that down, do we still get construction happening? I guess. Now, let's F5 and go out and find William. We're going to have to run. I don't know if we can reach him in easily. Our suit is even recharged. Come on, come on, come on, come 
come on, he's right over here. There he is. Okay. Um, we've got William's wallet, the Quark personal encrypted data pad, encrypted data storage unit can store any personal information securely. It is usually called a wallet, a term harkening back to the old pocket-sized folding cases used for storing paper money and magnetic cards because its primary utility is storing people's WCU keys. Newsline security measures include voice recognition, iris scan, and configurable twist pattern of the two sides. Most people choose to only use one of those measures at a time for convenience, compromising security. This one belonged to William Whitelaw. Okay, we'll transfer it. We've got a battery pack that's empty. And hooch, this thermos was intended for coffee, but there's some kind of unidentifiable viable liquid inside. It smells like alcohol. Okay, oh, physicality. You try removing the hand from the man's face. The many frozen layers of his suit are still surprisingly pliable, but his limbs are not. When you apply pressure to the hand, instead of bending his arm, the cold and brittle wrist bone cracks. Uh. <clears throat> hmm. Use William's wallet on William's eyes. Do it. You hold the wallet in front of William's frozen eye. Fortunately, the frost does not seem to have affected his iris pattern. Um... I guess that's it. Oh, nothing else we can really click. Okay. Let's get back to civilization. <laughs> civilization is it ah this way okay very good you now check his security stuff once we're in here okay go ahead and use it the iris scan was successful. It still needs a voice command, a correct twist pattern, or both. Carefully examine the device, but find nothing of interest beyond the obvious. It's locked. Um, hack William's wallet. As after a successful iris scan, the device seems responsive to your twist. You try to think of a way to hack the pattern, but you come up empty. You need to become a better hacker. Um, we can do science. IPMS. I don't know anything of importance about this item. Quark wallets are useless when taken apart. You'll never get the keys if you physically tamper with it. You can't negotiate with an item. Science. Your science skill won't help you with this item. Dang. Quark wallets are useless when taken apart. You'll never get the keys if you physically tamper with it. Huh, so we have to... We have to hack the unit. Hmm. Ooch. I'm going to practice my negotiation skills. Very well. What do you want to argue about? Um. Do we get XP for this? Anything. Be contrarian. 
Accessing file argument clinic loaded. An argument is not just about being contrarian. Provide your rebuttal. What you say to me carries a risk and a reward. The risk will determine if I get offended by your rewards. The reward will sway me. Charm? I wouldn't try that with real people. You're not exactly charming. Insight? You see a holographic projection. IPMS is, after all, just a computer. You're just a computer. I can win this button. Win this program. The press of a button. You're stupid and you're wrong. How's that for risky? Very risky and infantile. Um, you need to take a contrarian position in order to have an argument. Sometimes an argument can be had in shades of gray. Not everything is one or zero. Let's override. That is correct. You have ultimate leverage over me. If you gather intelligence on people, you can use that against them. Press the issue. You have won the argument. Okay. Association simulation complete. Are you satisfied with your training? I don't think I actually improved. Of course you didn't. I'm not human. Can you help me with what something? Did you need? Um, never mind. Okay, let's go ahead and F5. I'm going to see how long we've played. And just like that, 52 minutes is up, so... I'm going to go ahead and save here. Say thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed episode 4. I'm having a blast with it. It's a very interesting game. Uh, I didn't know what to expect, but I definitely wasn't expecting this. In a good way. Um... So yeah, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you doing so. Much love, peace, and joy. And uh, stay tuned because much more to come. We're going to be building some stuff next time. Working on this basement and also potentially um, other things. So I would ask you kindly to stay tuned for more. Feel free to if you'd like, and I'll see you then. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.